Hello and welcome to the Timberland Investor. Is your chainsaw burning wood and causing it to smoke as it tries to cut through? Well don't worry, it's a pretty common problem to have and it's easy to fix. Here's a list of things that could be causing it. Probably by far the biggest cause of your chainsaw causing wood to smoke is going to be your chain being too dull. As a chainsaw cuts through wood, it creates a lot of energy and a lot of friction. And actually a primary way it gets rid of some of that heat and dissipates it is by sawing through the wood and tossing away chips. As it tosses away flakes and chips, um, some of that heat that's trapped in those chips is dispelled away. And of course, as it cuts through wood, it exposes itself to new material, which then further acts as a heat sink and gets rid of some of the heat. So if your chainsaw is dull, it's gonna be cutting slowly and it's causing a lot of that heat to build up. Eventually, it's gonna cause the wood to scorch and it could cause the wood to smoke and in some cases even catch fire. Luckily, the uh, fix is pretty simple. Just sharpen your chain. A second cause might make you feel a bit silly, but don't worry, it's happened to the best of us. You put your chain on backwards. To ensure your chain is put on properly, make sure that the crescent part of each tooth is facing towards the end of the bar, and the back of the tooth, right here, is facing the chainsaw portion. On the bottom of the bar, of course, it would be the opposite. To fix it, simply take off your chain and uh, put it on the right way. Issue number three, your rakers are too high. This piece right here is the raker, and essentially, it ensures that the tooth is cutting to a certain depth. Because the tooth is slanted downward, as you sharpen, the tooth, the top of the tooth, starts to gradually lower. So as the chain wears, and you sharpen it more and more, you have to ensure that you, you uh, file down that raker so it keeps a proper cutting depth. On most chainsaws, and for most users, that depth should be about 0 .025 inches. But some people like to customize. In any case, you need to make sure that the raker is not taller than the, the tooth. Otherwise, it's not going to be cutting at all. And of course, if it's not cutting, you're running into a similar issue than if the chain were on backwards or it was a dull chainsaw, where it's building up a lot of heat and it's not cutting fast enough to dissipate that heat. Thus, your chainsaw is producing smoke and maybe burning the wood. If your rakers are too high, you might need to get yourself a raker depth gauge and then use it to file down the rakers as necessary to the proper depth. Finally, and this one might be the most complicated issue, is that your chainsaw is not properly dispensing oil. Oil acts as a lubricant for the chain and without it, heat can build up very fast and it can cause all sorts of problems, including expansion of the metal of the chain, uh, the chain loosening and tightening depending on how high the temp gets, uh, and of course it can burn your wood and your bar and create all sorts of problems. You would probably know if, you're not, if you don't have any oil, it's, it makes it pretty obvious. but. To check if it's dispensing oil, you can simply run your chainsaw with the tip almost touching wood, and if it leaves a kind of a wet mark, that oil is spinning off the chain and it means it's being dispensed properly. If a lack of oil is your problem, always make sure that you actually have the bar oil filled. Um, seems obvious, but sometimes you can forget, or uh, maybe if you're new to chainsaws, you don't realize that you should fill up your bar oil every time you fill up the gas, but uh, in any case, check. And if it's full, but still not dispensing oil, you might have a bigger issue on your hands. If you're not getting enough oil to the bar, it could also be because the oil dispenser is clogged up. On the chainsaw, there's a little slot here that dispenses oil. Make sure that's clear of debris. On the bar, make sure there's a little hole right there that uh, gets, gets oil to the, to the bar itself from the, the oil dispenser. So make sure both of those are clear of debris. If there's nothing wrong with the level of oil, and it's still not dispensing it, there's probably something wrong with your oil pump. And that might mean you should take it to a qualified dealer and repair shop. But uh, usually, on most chainsaws, behind the clutch, there's a worm gear. And on a lot of modern chainsaws, that's made of plastic. And actually, it's happened to me before where that's broken off. So the worm gear isn't actually spinning along with the, uh, the actual crankshaft of the chainsaw like it should. And so it's not dispensing oil with the chainsaw spinning, and it's just not working properly. So check that, check the oil pump, and um, any of those things should fix the issue. So if your chainsaw is burning wood and producing smoke as you cut, between those four issues, you should find the solution. In any case, that's all for now. Now get back to cutting. See you next time.